What's up, it's Cinema Shogun here, and I just want to share my quick initial thoughts on episode one of The Rings of Power. Tomorrow, I will do a more in-depth spoiler review, so don't worry, there will be no spoilers in this video. Although, there's really nothing to spoil from episode one, because literally, nothing happened. Nothing happens at all. This show is just as bad as we all thought it would be. In fact, it may be even worse. I was holding out hopes, not that this would be a good show. I knew that this show would butcher Tolkien's lure, and it does. But I held out hope. I held out hopes that maybe, at the very least, it would be entertaining, like one of those bad shows that ruins everything you love about the source material. But at the very least, there's some good action scenes and it's it it keeps your you know attention. But man, I just found myself drifting off so much during episode one because it is so boring. The dialogue is horrible. You know, Tolkien was great with dialogue, and I think even the Peter Jackson trilogy, um, it doesn't do Tolkien complete justice, but it is leaps and bounds better than this. This is horrible, like middle school teenager level dialogue. Um, as far as the CGI goes, I was hoping to see something better. There are certain locations you see in episode one that should invoke some type of emotional response from you if you're a Tolkien fan, but you don't get, you know, you don't feel anything for it. And all of the CGI just looks it doesn't look as expensive as they say. I am having a, a really hard time believing that they spent as much money on this show as they say. Honestly, the CGI in the Disney Plus, Star Wars, and Marvel shows looks just as good, if not better, than this. There are some scenes that just downright looked like they were filmed years ago. Um, as far as the characters go, there's not a single character that I can connect with. And I am not trying to be overly critical. We all know how I felt about this show going in. But I went in with as open um, of a mind as possible. You know, if I found that the show had some entertaining values to it or some, some redeeming values at all, I would be honest with you all. I'm not here just to crap on this show, but I am going to crap on this show because it's <laughs> there's nothing to to, you know, to be happy about. There was nothing good about it. I mean, I was excited to at least watch this show and just watch how bad it would be, but I don't even know if I'm going to be able to stomach a whole season of this if it continues at this pace. You know, token stories, they were slow paced, you know. There was a lot of walking around and, you know, stuff like that. But it was still beautiful and entertaining. This is slow paced just for no reason. I mean, it's just utterly bizarre to me that someone put this together and thought that people would want to watch this. You know, even the people who don't care about Tolkien's lure, even if you don't care anything about Tolkien and you're just a casual person coming in, I don't think there's anything really here for you. After watching episode one, I don't see anything in episode one that would really make me want to come back for episode two, even if I knew nothing about Tolkien. You understand what I'm saying? So I tried to watch it from different lenses at the same time. You know, as a Tolkien fan, the show was dead on arrival. But I even tried to put on the lens of just a casual viewer and it didn't have any redeeming qualities there. Um, the characters are all unlikable. Galadriel is the worst. And she's supposed to be like the main character of this show. And she is downright horrible. The most unlikable character I think I've ever seen. She makes Brie Larson and Captain Marvel look like one of the most likable characters in movie history. Galadriel in this show is just, just a C-U-N-T. A complete C-U-N-T. I, I can't even express how miserable she sounded and looked and felt every time she was on screen. The exact opposite 
of how you felt when you watched Galadriel and the um, Lord of the Rings trilogy with Peter Jackson. It, it, it's the polar opposite. There is nothing likable about her character. And this isn't a knock on the, um, the actor's physical appearance, but there's nothing beautiful and like about her character that like there's no wonderment there. There's no wonderment or enchantment anywhere in this series for me. Like they try to, you know, do little nods to nature and stuff, but none of it feels beautiful. It all feels artificial. You know, even in Peter Jackson's trilogy, like there was so much beauty there. And here, I don't really feel it. Even scenes that should be beautiful, they somehow managed to make it feel artificial. And I guess it's because it's Amazon, you know, one of the biggest corporations in the world. But man, I can't get over how just, just hateable and unlikable Galadriel is in this in this episode how you who in their right mind thought that this would be a character that anyone could connect with i don't think anyone could connect with this character it's almost as if galadriel is the villain and right when you think that maybe she would have like a charming moment like i don't want to spoil anything so i'm being really vague here but like there's a couple of moments in the show and there's like the sunlight's glaring in on her and you know got you got Elrond walking up and you think it's going to be a beautiful moment with Galadriel and it just turns in her to her being a complete bitch <laughs> you know and just like talking a lot of shit and like she's just going crazy about Sauron no one even cares about what she has to say <laughs> it's just oh my god man this is it's worse than i expected because I knew it was going to be bad um, because I'm a token fan. So I knew I wasn't going to like it because of everything that they changed and, and just how they butchered his lure. But even from just a casual perspective, this show is just so bad. The action, it's not really entertaining. Galadriel has one scene where she just... Uh, they don't even make it cool. Like she's just overpowered because she has to be the strong woman. And like, we get it, we get it. But it's nothing like the Galat. If you read any of the books, this is the exact opposite, I think, of what Tolkien was trying to get across in a lot of his works. This is just like not even for 10 seconds out of this hour long episode, did I feel like I was in Middle Earth. Not even for 10 seconds did I feel like, you know, immersed in Middle Earth or in Tolkien's world. Like there was nothing Tolkien about this. Everything was off. Every single thing. Like on it, like you know how some things they hit on all cylinders? This missed on all cylinders. <laughs> there was nothing. I can't think of a single likable thing from this. I can't think of a single compliment that I can make for this. You know, even the CGI, and you know, I know there's probably a lot of people who worked really hard on the CGI. So I'm not bashing anyone who worked on the TV show behind the scenes. You know, the non-activists, the people who just come in and do their job. But I mean, the CGI isn't on par with what you would think it would be for this totally expensive show. And the performances from the actors, it doesn't sell it enough for you to believe the CGI. You know what I mean? So like when there's a scene and there's bad acting on top of CGI that doesn't look the greatest, it, it just, you know, it, it's just a, a recipe for disaster. You know, if you ever read Tolkien's books, you know that there was just like, there was some type of feeling there. Like inside those books, like he captured this feeling, like there was like this heart and soul to his storytelling. And there was just this beauty that he was able to capture with his words that made you visualize like these landscapes and it made you admire, you know, nat the nature around you more after reading his work, if that makes sense. And, you know, I believe Peter Jackson's trilogy, P 
people have certain issues with it and I understand that you you could never really capture fully what Tolkien wrote but I believe Peter Jackson's trilogy did an amazing job at capturing some of the heart and soul you know that Tolkien put in his books this show feels just void of anything this there there doesn't feel like there's any love or passion put into the show. There's there's no love for Tolkien for sure. But then I would take it one step further and say that there's no love for anything. There's no even love or commitment for what they created. Like the actors don't, I don't even feel like they're into it. So they're not even selling their parts because they have no love and commitment, not only to Tolkien, but not, but not even to the script that they wrote for this show. So like, it's just void of all feeling, wonderment, love, enchantment. It is just a hollow, like husk of a television show. I would compare it to like, I don't know if you have locust in your area, but like they escape their shell and they leave behind this locust shell. It's like really gross. Have you ever watched Dragon Ball Z? It's like when Cell left his old body and there was just that husk inside of Trunks' spaceship. It's like when a snake gets out of its skin and it leaves the snake skin behind. That's what this show is. <laughs> There's no substance. There's no calories. There's nothing. It is just complete garbage that I, I guess they just threw money at and threw it together. Now, I've only watched episode one. So who knows, maybe episode two might get a little better. And then, you know, there's other episodes as well. And if you, do you all want me to keep watching this and reviewing it for you all? Let me know down in the comments below because I don't know if I could just keep torturing myself if you all don't want me to. But as far as episode one goes, that's my initial thoughts. Tomorrow, I will do a more of a spoiler review and I'll do more of a breakdown of episode one and then I'll review episode two as well. But as far as episode one goes, absolute garbage. Let me know your thoughts down below if you've already watched it. I'm sure a lot of you all have. While you're down there, hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, ring that notification bell, and I'll talk to you all on the next video.